If you own one of these two iPhones, either a 6S or a 13 Pro Max, you're gonna wanna watch this video to have the best iPhone experience. Otherwise, good luck. Yo, what is going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be telling you everything that you need to do to update your device to iOS 16 to have a smooth, good, proper experience. Otherwise, all hell might break loose on your iDevice. Not 10 megabytes for 10 apps, one megabyte total for 10 applications. So it's a cool video. What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing y'all everything, the five steps that you need to do to get your iPhone to be at its peak performance when updating to the next major iPhone update. So this iPhone update, iOS 16, typically comes in at around five gigabytes when installing this. Now you can install the beta, or you can install the official version, but right now the beta is releasing in less than a month. So that is why I'm making this video so you can have time because some of these things will actually, um, it's best to do before the beta is released. So let's get started with the five things you need to do. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually make sure your iDevice is on the latest update. So it's better to update from the latest update to iOS 16 then to be like four updates behind and then update to 16. I just noticed you get a lot better success rate and the likelihood of you encountering lag or you know your device crashing or rebooting is very minimal if you are on the latest version as of now. So the only problem is if you're waiting for a jailbreak, if you're an advanced user, then you might not wanna do that. But if you're just a regular iOS user and you're looking to update to iOS 16, it would be a good start right now to update to the latest version of iOS. Now, moving on from there, something you would also want to do is have automatic updates set to download iOS updates only. You do not want it to install iOS updates, all right? And this is a setting that you will probably have to change as well after you update your iPhone. Um, and that's just because some beta updates, when you do update, if, if you do get iOS 16 and it's, terrible software, but Apple comes out with a bug fix that then is reported to be even worse, your iPhone will automatically update to the worst beta. So it's better to just have more control and manually do this rather than your iPhone install updates by itself. So moving on from that point, this is the best um, way to keep your settings. Now, something else you would want to do is remove any beta profiles. So if you don't even know if you have this, this is how you check. You want to go to your iPhone settings, go to general and scroll down to VPN and device management. From here, you will see um, a list of either VPNs or configuration profiles. You might have a profile because you have iPhone themes. Don't worry about this. But if you have another profile listed here, listed iOS update or iOS beta or iOS 15, something along those lines, you would want to delete that before you update to iOS 16 because not only will that free up a ton of storage, but it'll make your device less laggy. And there's actually a glitch where your iPhone won't be able to install the latest update if you have an older update already downloaded, but just not installed. So you wanna get rid of that and then search for a new update, and then you should be good to go. So just, it, basically, if you have anything here, delete that if it's iOS update related. You can keep your themes and things like that. Now, one more thing you would wanna do as well, um, this is not the last thing, but it's just another pro tip, is you would want to have as much storage free as possible. If you have a 64 gigabyte iPhone, and you're about to update to the latest iPhone update, um, good luck but there are precautions you can take. So for example, if you have only one gigabyte left and you try to install iOS 16, it's gonna be terrible experience for you. What you wanna do is have at least five gigs available to install the update, but you also wanna have another five gigs available to have wiggle room because the closer and closer you get to the maximum storage of your iPhone, that eats away at your processing power and your ability for your iPhone to even navigate smoothly. So if you're already on an older device and you have full storage and you update to the latest update, you're going to have a terrible experience. But if you have an older device and you clear up 10 gigabytes and then you update, even though it's a beta update, you'll still be able to have an enjoyable slash usable experience. 
Now, one of the ways you can clear up storage is I actually have a video on how you can free up all of your apps that are one gigabyte large um, or even larger. But I also just want to mention that that video turns it all into less than one megabyte. That's a cool video that I've never seen anywhere else on YouTube. You got to check it out. It's really sick. Um, something else you can do is you could see that I have iOS 15.4 here. And you can see that this update is literally just a regular iPhone update, but it's 700 megabytes. So you could see that these iPhone updates, even though this is a small update, it's still rather large in file size. So think of what iOS 16 is going to be like. You want to prepare for that by deleting apps you don't need, by checking out that video on how to decrease um, your storage by up to 10 gigabytes by reducing the most 10 used applications like TikTok. You can see TikTok is 600 megabytes. I have a video on how to turn that into one megabyte, not 10 megabytes for 10 apps, one megabyte total for 10 applications. So it's a cool video. Y'all really want to check that out. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll stop talking about that. But yeah, clear up your storage. You can offload unused apps. You can delete um, attachments and things like that from iMessage. That could free up a ton of storage. So that's um, another pro tip. Another pro tip is to back up your iPhone. So if you do not back up your iPhone, you would want to do this in iCloud through your iCloud settings here. You want to back up your iPhone, your data, and your contacts. But you also would most likely want to back it up through iTunes as well. You could do either or. But the risk of not backing up your iPhone before updating to a major software update, I don't really need to explain it. But in case you do not know, iOS 16 and these beta updates are prone to reboots, your device crashing. I've destroyed multiple iPhones by updating to the betas and have had to reset them because they've gotten bricked. So you have... You have to back up your device It's a, if it's a main device. So that's something y'all just really might want to be aware of. So anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Those are more than five things you should do to prepare for the next iOS update. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.